in this chapter, we'll look at the recording of cash expenses. Now, this one is should normally be a long list, but because we are looking at an introduction, we shall not go into details. Basically, money spent for and because of the business. Those are the expenses. Now, we have only one document we're going to use, which combines all expenses for the financial year. Now, one other thing to bear in mind is that in UK, the HM revenue accepts fixed assets to be recorded as expenses and written off in the year of purchase, provided they are used or utilized for only two years. That is accepted. Basically, to simplify the reporting process, to simplify the reporting process, and this could probably, this should be acceptable in other countries. After all, in most countries, in many countries, tax is not determined by the profit, but it's basically assessed by an officer. So we're looking at these accounts being prepared by a small business to know the amount of profit they have made in the process. So writing off a fixed asset in the year of purchase shouldn't be a crime. So what we're looking at is expenses. Okay, well, this is, an, this, is an, this is a receipt from material suppliers for the whole financial year. We're looking at one single document for the whole year. That's where the amount is quite big. And of course, it was paid by cash. Let's go ahead to record this document. So we proceed to our device and then we need to arrange them on the screen. They should fit on the screen and that is pretty good. Now, the recording form is in module two. Click module two. And the recording form is number two. This form is for all allowable expenses. Now the document number has been generated. If you follow a particular order, it's been generated. Now, in case the document number, well, if you're using this software, the document has document number has got to be generated. And what happens is there's probably no document, no number on your document. So what you need to do is to copy that number onto this document such that the two can match. Ideally, this document is supposed to support the information that we present on reports. We're looking at a general ledger account with that transaction. That transaction will state that it was extracted from document number four. If anybody wants to verify, they are coming to document number four. So we copy the number on there onto the document to, 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 support, to support what has been done. And of course, this software aims at speeding up the process. We need to save time. The date has also been auto-generated by because we did set it at the start remember in chapter two we did set the date and the business name now this particular form is very specific for only allowable expenses so there are no accounts to select up here and then below here we can select but the cash account has been pre-selected because most of this most of transactions by small businesses are done using cash so our task is to record the amount and the narration, which is the explanation. Now, because this is a small business, which is not VAT registered, we don't consider the VAT amount. We instead record the amount including VAT. That is 13,920. So that is 13,920. And there we are. And then the narration is going to be resale stock. Resale stock. And that's about it. We should be, we click on the device and uh, the keyboard disappears. <clears throat> we should be ready to save at this stage. So we click save and close. That has been done. Now to make sure we don't have lots of errors at the end, of course, in the learning phase, you should check what you've recorded. At a certain stage, after you gain confidence and you're used to the process, you don't need to keep checking. So let's scroll down here to transaction edit and see if what we have recorded is correct. From, 
let's see from document number four that is resale stock transaction number five the amount is 39.20 coming from the cash account this is the account which paid for the expense and the value ends up on the all expenses account we are satisfied and that's it that's done how many seconds well we can do that in eight seconds but of course for learning purposes you need a bit of time now what we're going what we need to do now is to stop the video however it's optional some people will want to record the documents at the end we shall give you a pdf with all the documents it's available those who want to record let's stop the video now but before we stop the video i remind you in module two form number two that is what we need to use so let's stop the video now i pause mine well we can now resume resume the video we can resume the video and basically we need to verify to confirm if what was recorded is correct remember we come to number two miscellaneous and then scroll down to transaction edit so in transaction edit here we're looking for document number four transaction number five the amount is 13 9 20 and most important that money comes from the cash account that's why there's a negative there and then that value ends up on the all expenses account indicated there if you've got these wrong then you've got to click the edit button if you use the wrong form you may have to delete but if it's just the wrong accounts then you just click the edit button click that one and this one gives us a chance now to change the accounts click the drop down remember we used cash c a s there it is okay after correcting in case of an error you click the update button it's been updated and that's about it now the next thing we're going to do here is have a quick look at the, the dashboard have a quick look at the dashboard it's a summary report summary report and for you to confirm that what you've done is correct your figures should agree with what is available here the income is 33500 and the expenses total is 13920 now this is year to date year to date we don't need to look at the others because we have looked at them we have looked at them now these uh, tax and income we shall look at them a little bit later and then below here this is the balance sheet cash balance has gone up a bit gone up a bit we'll look at those a little bit later and that's it about the recording of the cash expense any questions facebook thank you